Let's go. What's happening YouTube, your boy Tech Tricks back in our video and today we're looking at the one from Feiyu Tech and this one will help you on your vlog because this one is the vlog pocket too. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when this video is come of tips and tricks and unboxing just like this one. Check out my much below at momentary.ca, hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up and show you what we could do. Here we go. Yeah, basically this one is from Tech, and it has a little bit of a functions here like uh, it's supposed to be pocketable, we're going to test that out today. There's also the Portrait and landscape shot, um, object tracking, uh, control original camera, especially you're using your iPhone 12s and iPhone 12 Pro Max or something like that, you'll be able to use it with this. And yeah, let's can test this out and see how well it does. Uh, that's very interesting when it's uh, when they say they claim that it's uh, pocketable, right? Um, It'll be uh, quite interesting for sure. We're gonna test that out and see if that's any good or not. Open this up just like that. Boom! What we get inside is a bunch of literature. There you go. Let's put that on the side for now. It comes with a bag as well. There you go. Very nice. There is also the gimbal itself right here. That is quite small actually. Pretty surprising because I've unboxed a few gimbals in this channel and I find this one, uh, yeah, I would say, yeah, maybe it is po pocketable. Let's test that out. Little stand for it as well. That's very nice. That's interesting for sure that it even comes to the little stand right there. Very nice to have. And also a charging uh, USB-C port uh, charging cable right there. Very nice. And that's it for the box. You guys can see very uh, compact design right um, to be able to release it is you just loosen that part right there and then you just put this all the way back like that make sure you tighten this of course and then you just have to release that there's also the USB slot on that side as well on the other side there's the uh, uh, zoom uh, slider pretty good in the front there's also the uh, joystick right there the record button and a couple of buttons like taking a picture and the manual mode very nice so let's go ahead and the back as well you can see there there's a trigger so here what we need to do is also put that below here this is like the stand that came in the box there you go like this we're gonna put a phone right onto here like so there you go and then let's turn it on and there you go good to go so next step is to download the Feiyu on app we'll go through how to do that by clicking that and then we're gonna scan the QR code over here and there you go good to go and then we're gonna download this app. Now that we have it uh, downloaded, let's hit open. There you go. Let's uh, register and log in. Let's punch in our credentials right here. As you can see, it'll auto detect. There you go. We're gonna hit pair. And as you can see, that's the app. So right now we are out and about. And basically how it works is gonna be in a bag like this, or maybe you can put it in your pocket as well. And then you just take it out and set it up. It's really easy to set up, especially if you have your phone with you already. You're just gonna bring this device and mount the, screw the stand on the bottom like so. Uh, open up the gimbal and then mount your phone. Of course, one of the good things about this kind of gimbal is that it uses the phone that you have. So most of us that have the the newest and greatest iPhone or maybe the best Android out there, Samsung uh, camera is what you love to use. You're gonna have more stable footage and you're gonna have uh, better photos and videos using the Feiyu Tech Vlog Pocket 2. 
One of the best things about this as well is you don't have to keep upgrading the gimbal. You can upgrade your phone anytime you want. If your phone breaks or something like that, you don't have to replace the FAU Tech Vlog Pocket 2. You'll be able to just use this with any phone that you have. I love as well how you don't have to use their app. You can use any app that you want, like Moment app and different apps that you love to use when taking videos. For those of you who are wondering if it's pocketable, yes, definitely it is. But I don't know about tight pants, like tight jeans or something like that, but it worked for me. Now this is a shot with our iPhone 10 mounted to the Feiyutech Vlog Pocket 2. And basically we are just walking normally. We're not uh, doing any maneuver to make this smooth this is all the work of the Feiyutech Vlog Pocket 2. Here's another side step take that I've done. Um, I'm not doing any careful walking or anything like that I'm just walking normally I'm actually in fact I'm recording the small video here using the DJI Osmo Pocket and um, so I'm holding two cameras right now so as you can see it's doing a great job even uh, despite me not being careful on how I walk. The other thing that you could use this for is to make put it put it on a stand, uh, put it on the floor just like this, so that you can shoot some time lapse and basically some cinematic slow mo shots as well. Very nice. The other features that the Feiyutech app also has is the dolly zoom. If you know how to use that, you'll be able to use dolly zoom with the app. I'm not really sure how to use it, so you guys go ahead and try that out. So as you can see here, there's a few settings that we can have with this app. There's a settings up here, control by joystick. There you go. You can use this to control your device. There you go. You'll need a second device for this. There's also the joystick settings. It's a reverse tilting and reverse panning control. There you go. And there's, there's also the tilting speed and the pan speed. Very nice. Here, as you can see, with the video, there is a dolly zoom where you can use. There's also the static time lapse, the tracking on time lapse, the video, slow mo, and also light rail mode. Very nice. Now, here you can have a uh, photo timer settings at so 2 seconds, 5 seconds, and 10 seconds. There's the beautify, flash, auxiliary line, HDR as well. Um, filters, you can add filters. Uh, guest tours as well and more settings here there's also the advanced mode where we can put that on right there mirror front camera there's also save manner with original resolution right there very nice there's the audio recording input right there or you can use a Bluetooth sound recording. There you go, very nice. Slow motion resolution right here is 720p, 120 frames per second. The resolution for video is up to 4K60. That's very good, very good. There you go. The audio recording, there's the zoom speed as well which could be uh, low, medium, and high. We'll just leave it at medium. And then there's the panorama level settings, low, medium, high as well. Very nice. So I like how um, there's different settings as well here. If you put it in advance, you can change the ISO, the manual focus, the, the zoom as well, right there. Very nice. I saw white balance, right? You can change that as well. Very nice. There's also the exposure right there, which is pretty good. Very nice, very nice. It's also the EV where you can change that to however you like. I like how they added that setting as well on the phone app. Very nice, uh, good touch. Where you can change your uh, manual settings right away, right on the app. You don't have to go through any settings or nothing like that. Just uh, it's all available on the side right here. Very nice. Now with the M, with the manual settings, you can double tap it and it will make it a portrait or a landscape. There is also the zoom button right there, which can be changed if you want the ISO change or not, or you want the uh, zoom instead. There you go. I like how you can change that as well to adjust whichever 
you like the best very nice there is also the joystick of course to control the gimbal uh, positioning record button of course right there and the record button it will show you what the resolution is right here 4k 60 the back um, can be used for a few things for example um, the trigger down here you can click this to recenter it and whatnot and pretty good and that's it for today guys thanks for watching i hope i was able to help you on your choice on a vlog pocket 2 by feyu tech if i was able to help you make sure to hit that subscribe button below definitely would recommend this device because it is pocketable and it gives you all the things that you need as a gimbal and for those of you who are wondering if you want to start vlogging and use this for tiktok definitely must recommend uh would recommend this and uh, go ahead and grab yourself one i'll link that down in the description below so go ahead and check that out make sure to hit that like button as well so we can beat that youtube algorithm i hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful peace